Assalamu alaikum dear students. So we are continuing with the properties of receptors. We have done with partitional law. We have done how uh, receptors generate receptor potential. We have done adaptation, differential sensitivity, the labeled line principle, sensory unit receptive field, two-point discrimination, and the importance of two-point discrimination in the Braille system for the blind, later inhibition and its importance for localization of stimuli, law of projection. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to describe sensory coding and the attributes which are coded by the receptors and by CNAs, and you will be able to classify nerve fibers. This is the reading material. One thing to remember is that action potentials are similar in all nerve fibers. And the speed of conduction of nerve fibers of uh, action potential in the different nerve fibers vary, depending, of course, of, on the diameter and myelination of the nerve fibers. However, action potential are all similar in all nerve fibers. So sensory coding, what does it mean? It means converting a stimulus into a recognized sensation. When the receptor, along with CNS, they code, they code for four attributes of a stimulus. One is location of the stimulus, second modality, meaning type of the stimuli of the sensation, duration, and intensity. The location of a sensation, uh, what do you think? By which property it is determined? Which property helps in localization of a stimulus? Yes, lateral inhibition. Well, what about modality? The modality of sensation, how is it? Uh, identified by which properties you have yes differential sensitivity as well as label line principle because the modality of sensation is determined by the the area in the seamless where the nerve fiber ends each nerve fiber responds or transmits specific type of sensation and receptors themselves there is differential sensitivity in which they respond to specific type of sensation what about the duration how duration of a stimulus and ultimately sensation is determined by which property. As long as the stimulus is applied, sensation will be felt, is it true or false? No, it depends on the adaptation of receptors because if the, if the receptor is rapidly adapting, even if you keep on applying the stimulus, there will be adaptation and the sensation will not be felt as long as you apply the stimulus. The intensity of stimulus we talked about with professional law, and we talked in it that there is temporal submission because of which the magnitude of sensation is proportional to the strength of stimulus. If you have a look at this diagram, you can see that if multiple fibers are stimulated, definitely there will be more sensation because if there are multiple fibers are firing at the same time at adjacent area, there is what we call as spatial summation, which will increase the magnitude of sensation. There is the concept of spatial summation and temporal summation, which we'll do in details in synapses, but we can cover it here. In spatial summation, multiple nerve fibers adjacent to one another are firing at the same time, and there is summation of the postsynaptic potentials. However, temporal summation, it is the same nerve fiber, one nerve fiber that keeps on firing repeatedly. However, the firing is all within one millisecond. So the postsynaptic potential that is produced at the postsynaptic membrane, it is produced repeatedly at a time where all of all the postsynaptic potentials that are produced, that are produced all of them within one millisecond. So there is summation. So that is temporal summation. This is an institute that you can have a look at, second institute. So these are in general the properties of receptors. And by this, we finish the properties of receptors. When we talk about classification of nerve fibers, it comes a lot of institutes. There is general classification, which you are familiar with from first year. You need to remember that there is A alpha, A beta, A gamma, A delta, and C fibers. You don't need to go into the details of B fibers, C fibers, okay? Now, the fastest is A alpha. As you go towards C, fibers, the fibers, they become slower. So the slowest is C fibers. The largest diameter is of A alpha. Why? Because they are the fastest. Smallest diameter is of C fibers. C fibers are myelinated, and that's why they are very slow. Whereas A alpha, they are myelinated along with all A beta, A gamma, and A delta. So this is the classification. A alpha responsible for proprioception, a beta for touch and pressure, a gamma, they come, the fibers come from 
muscle spindle. A, delta for fast pain and fast and temperature and crude touch. C, fibers for slow pain, temperature, and for some of the mechanoreceptors. You can see that for touch, there is fine touch by A beta and there is true touch by A delta. The sensory classification is the same, it's just the categories are different. So A alpha, proprioception, because they come from two types of receptors, from muscle spindle as well as from Golgi tendon organs. So they were divided into one A that comes from primary endings of muscle spindles and one B that comes from Golgi tendon organs. A beta and A gamma, gamma, they were both in one group, group two, in which fibers from the tactile receptors A beta for touch and pressure and from the secondary endings of muscle spindle. One A were from primary endings of muscle spindle and two from the secondary endings of muscle spindle. Group three are the same as A delta and group four are the same as C fibers.